The touchscreen interface is where all cache management functions on the Sentinel are initiated. Understanding how to properly operate and navigate this system is key to using all the Sentinel products. The interface responds to gentle pressure from a fingertip and gives visual indication when a selection has been made. It is important not to use sharp objects such as pens or pencils to make selections on the touchscreen. Using anything other than a fingertip may result in damage to the screen. The main screen menu displays selections for operating functions of the Sentinel SCD. Selecting any function on the main screen will prompt the user for pen entry. Before any system functions may be executed, you must first log in with your PIN number. Let's step through this basic login process. Select Login from the touchscreen menu on the left. You will then see the Enter PIN menu where you will enter your assigned PIN by selecting the numbers in sequence. Press 1, 2, 3, 4, then Enter to continue. After logging in, the appropriate menus will be loaded based on the security level of the user PIN number you entered. The clerk access level gives the user the ability to perform everyday functions such as opening vaults, closeout functions, and running reports. While the clerk access level is somewhat limited by design, the manager and executive levels give the user the ability to perform everyday functions such as opening vaults, adjusting counts, closeout functions, and running detailed reports. Selecting More from the Manager 1 menu will display additional options within the Manager level. The additional menu options within the Manager level include Editing Account Permissions, Policy Settings, and Maintenance. Select Insert Bills on the Sentinel SCD's main screen, which will bring up the user login screen. Repeat the process for logging in as detailed in the touchscreen operation module. The LED indicator lights on the note acceptors will then turn from flashing green to solid green and allow for the feeding of notes. The Sentinel SCD will accept and count the notes as they are inserted. You may insert notes into either acceptor as long as the green indicator light is on. When you are finished feeding notes, select Done from the touchscreen interface. The manual drop function allows you to drop checks, bills rejected by the validators, or other items of value into the vault. Select Vault Drop from the Sentinel SCD's main screen. Repeat the process for logging into the system. From the Select Drop Type menu, select Cash, Check, or Other, depending on the type of item you wish to drop. To drop cash, select the Cash button. The next screen will ask you to enter the amount of the drop. Use a numeric keypad to enter $50, then select Enter. The Sentinel will ask you to confirm the amount and then instruct you to make your drop. Pull down the handle on the right side of the Sentinel SCD. Place the item in the drop chute and guide the handle back to the closed position. When the drop is complete, you will be taken to the main screen. It is important to notify the Sentinel SCD when you have ended your shift in order to end the reporting period for the transactions you have conducted. Follow the process for logging into the system. Select End of Shift on the touchscreen. Verify that you want to end the shift by selecting Yes. The system will print out your shift report at this time. Follow your store's procedure for closing out and reporting. When the screen indicates that the shift has ended, select Done to return to the Clerk menu. At times you may wish to print a report in the middle of a shift or reprint a report. Repeat the process for logging into the system. Select Reports. The Reports menu contains report printing options related to the setup of your Sentinel SCD. Make selections from the available menu items based on your reporting needs. The process of auditing the Sentinel SCD's change fund follows the basic process of printing reports, then manually verifying the amounts against the reports. The following steps provide instructions on printing reports, opening vaults, and adjusting totals if necessary. First, follow the process for logging into the Sentinel SCD. 
Select Reports from the Manager, Clerk, or User 1 screen. From the Reports menu, select Current Content. The SCD will print a report that shows the total amount of funds existing in the vaults, courier tray, and bill acceptors. Next, you will want to open the vault to manually count the existing funds so they can be compared with the current content report. From the Reports menu, select the Go Back button to return to the Manager 1 menu. Select Open Vault. Select Drop Vault to begin the process of opening the SCD Drop Vault. The Sentinel will alert the user that the door will unlock after the current door delay interval has passed. Select Done to exit the Open Vault menu. Once the door opening delay time has passed, the user must log in, select the Open Vault menu, and select the vault again to unlock the vault door and open it. The funds can then be removed and counted so the total can be compared to the current content report. If there is a discrepancy between the total in the current content report and the total in the vault, it will be necessary to adjust the vault contents. See the module titled Adjusting Vault Contents if Needed to perform this action. In the event of an audit or when actual amounts of vault contents don't match the reports, this function can be used to make balance corrections. Follow the process for logging in. Select Cache Control from the Manager 1 menu. Select Adjust Vault Contents from the Cache Control menu. Select Reserve Change Fund from the Location Adjustment menu. If multiple currencies are in use, you will be prompted to select the currency type. Select Cash from the Currency Selection menu. Selecting Positive will add to the total. Select Negative Now to subtract or make a withdrawal from the total. Press 1, 0, 0, 0, then the double zero, then Enter on the left touchscreen to continue. The Sentinel SCD will verify that you wish to adjust the vault contents by this amount. Select Yes to confirm the adjustment amount. The Sentinel will then confirm the adjustment has been completed. Press Done to return to the Cash Control menu. The process of moving vault contents is necessary to notify the system of any funds that are put into or removed from the SCD. To begin, follow the process for logging in to the Sentinel. Select Cache Control from the Manager 1 menu. Select Move Vault Contents from the Cache Control menu. To move funds from an outside source to the Change Fund, select Outside. Select Reserve Change Fund to tell the system you are moving funds from outside the SCD into the Change Fund. Select Cash from the Currency Type menu and you will be prompted to enter the total amount you are placing into the Change Fund. Press 250000, then Enter on the left touchscreen to continue. This will tell the system you are moving $2,500 into the Reserve Change Fund. The Sentinel SCD will verify that you wish to transfer this amount. Select Yes to confirm the transfer amount. The system will then ask if the funds that are being brought in are for use as the change fund. Confirm this to complete the process. The Sentinel will confirm that the transfer has been completed. Press Done to return to the Cash Control menu. The following process describes how to notify the Sentinel SCD that the business day is complete. This will begin a new reporting period and create a file of the activity performed for retrieval at a later time. Repeat the process for logging into the Sentinel. Select the End of Day or Shift button. Select End Day. The Sentinel SCD will verify that you wish to end the business day. Select Yes to confirm the action. The SCD will first run an end of shift report. Press Done once the report has been removed. The SCD will then run an end of day report. Select Done to exit. 